Hi, this is Ben Hartman at Clay Bottom Farm. And today we're gonna talk about uh, ventilating your greenhouse or hoop house. Uh, one of the most common mistakes made uh, by new greenhouse or hoop house owners is to underestimate the amount of ventilation needed in these structures. I know it's a mistake that we certainly made our first year. Our manual systems essentially amount to two roll-up curtains and we have a garage door in the middle and we have smaller entry doors. And so we will open up the greenhouse uh, as much as we need uh, based on a thermometer that we have inside the greenhouse. And the problem we ran into with relying solely on our manual systems uh, was that we wanted to have this thing called a social life. Uh, we wanted to be in town at social events, maybe at church um, or whatever, and the sun would come out and we'd find ourselves rushing home to quick open up the greenhouse and it essentially tied us to the greenhouse morning and evening uh, all year round because we use the greenhouse on a year-round basis. And so we installed these uh, automated systems that allow us to be away from the greenhouse. We still use the manual systems as we're able. And so the, the automated systems we have amount to three shutters on the north end of the greenhouse, some recirculation fans in the middle of the greenhouse, and then on the south end of the greenhouse, we have two, uh, two exhaust fans. So here we are in the middle of the greenhouse, and we have six corrosive environment thermostats. Uh, one of them controls our heater, and the other five control our ventilation systems. We have each ventilation system set to come on at a different temperature, uh, so that as the temperature warms in the greenhouse, more and more systems are kicking, kicking on and operating simultaneous. Uh, first, our upper shutter would come on at 60 degrees, and that lets cold air in up in the upper chamber only away from the plants. Uh, next, at 70 degrees, we'd have the recirculation fans come on, and that helps mix even more cool air in the upper chamber of the greenhouse. And next we'd have the left in-wall fan come on and that's gonna really pull that cold air into the greenhouse uh, for when you really need to cool down the temperature in here. And if that's not enough, uh, we'll additionally have the right in-wall fan come on. And so by then we'd have the upper shutter, recirculation fans and two in-wall fans uh, pulling cold air through the greenhouse. And by the time it reaches the end of the greenhouse, uh, it has warmed enough with the warm air that's already in the greenhouse uh, that it's exhausting probably 50 or 60 degree temperature air. It's not exhausting and so it's not pulling real cold air across the plants. And then if we really needed to uh, uh, maximize our ventilation in here, we would additionally open up the lower shutters uh, at 75 degrees. And so both ends are all the way open and pulling uh, air through the greenhouse. And then in the middle of summer, uh, in addition to those systems, we'll have our roll-up curtains uh, open and our, our doors around the greenhouse will be uh, all the way open. So you can see when our systems are fully functioning, uh, we can very accurately control the temperature inside of our greenhouse. This is Ben Harbin with Clay Bottom Farm. Thanks for watching.